Hello, everyone. Today we're going to prove a fascinating trigonometric identity. Let's look at our identity. We have cosecant x minus sine x multiplied by secant x minus cosine x multiplied by tangent x plus cotangent x, and we claim this entire expression equals 1. The key to solving this is to convert everything to the most basic trigonometric functions, sine and cosine. Step 1. Converting two basic functions. First, let's rewrite each term using only sine and cosine. Remember that cosecant is 1 divided by sine, secant is 1 divided by cosine, tangent is sine divided by cosine, and cotangent is cosine divided by sine. So our first bracket becomes 1 over sine x minus sine x. The second bracket becomes 1 over cosine x minus cosine x. The third bracket becomes sine x over cosine x plus cosine x over sine x. Step 2. Simplifying the first bracket. Now let's work on each bracket separately. For the first bracket, we have 1 over sine x minus sine x. Let's find a common denominator. This becomes 1 minus sine squared x all over sine x. Step 3. Using Pythagorean identity for first bracket. Here's where the magic happens. Remember the fundamental identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. This means 1 minus sine squared equals cosine squared. So our first bracket becomes cosine squared x over sine x. Step 4. Simplifying the second bracket. For the second bracket, we have 1 over cosine x minus cosine x. Finding a common denominator, this becomes 1 minus cosine squared x all over cosine x. Using our Pythagorean identity again, 1 minus cosine squared equals sine squared. So this bracket becomes sine squared x over cosine x. Step 5. Simplifying the third bracket. For the third bracket, we have sine x over cosine x plus cosine x over sine x. Finding a common denominator, this becomes sine squared x plus cosine squared x all over cosine x times sine x. But wait, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, so this bracket simplifies to just 1 over cosine x times sine x. Now we multiply all three simplified brackets together. We have cosine squared x over sine x times sine squared x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x times sine x. Let's multiply these fractions step by step. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Our numerator becomes cosine squared x times sine squared x times 1. Our denominator becomes sine x times cosine x times cosine x times sine x. Look what happens now. In the numerator, we have cosine squared x times sine squared x. In the denominator, we have sine x times cosine x times cosine x times sine x, which is the same as cosine squared x times sine squared x. When we divide identical expressions, we get just 1. And there we have it. The left-hand side of our identity simplifies to exactly 1, which matches the right-hand side.